project number two in the Tenerife lace weave along that I'm leading is a lace mask that I designed and have made and will be showing you today how to make this gorgeous piece of work. I hope you'll enjoy making the Tenerife lace mask and then finding lovely things, ways of hanging it and displaying it and perhaps embellishing it more with buttons and beads and charms and ribbons. Um, possibly applying it to a bag. Who knows? Anyhow, let's get started with the Tenerife Lace Mask Weave Along. These are the motifs that you will need to make for your Tenerife lace mask. Weave five of the triangles, four of the circles, and two of the squares. And they'll all be stitched together and it comes together very quickly. It's, it looks a little complicated, but it's not. So five triangles, four circles, and two squares. Let's get stitching. I'm going to start by sewing the triangles together. There's two triangles on either side of the mask. Now, the I left the I cut the ends of the of the thread too short for uh, stitching. So I'm going to stitch the uh, ends into the back of the triangles. I've already done that with three of them, but I want you to see how I do it. I take the ends into a needle and then I take the needle through round two and through all the stitching of round one and I come out across round one across from the point that I'm taking the thread in pull it through pull it out of the needle and now I'm going to take my fine little thread snips and snip that off close and the ends are then good. So I'll need more thread to work with. So I'll thread that into my needle, fold it over the end of the needle and I push the loop through, which is the fastest way to thread a needle. Now to join thread for stitching a motif, it's kind of the reverse of what I just did. I'm going to take the end through the back of the motif. I'm calling it the back because it's the raised side. Both sides are good by the time you're finished with weaving all your ends in, but I just call it the back because of the raised threads. So now I've gone through all of round one, taking it through the loop of round two, and through the lock stitch at the top of, of round three. I'm going to take a second stitch to secure it and then you'll be able to start this, the stitching because that's now secure. So I lay the right sides together and I'm going to do the same lock stitches that we used to do the weaving of the motif is what will be holding the um, edges together. So I pick up, I go through one loop on the bottom, one loop on the top. And remember how I took my thread around the needle when I was doing the lock stitches in the weaving? That's the same thing I do now. So I move on to the next set of loops. I take the needle through both loops and then thread around the needles and I'm going to pinch as I pull up. I don't want this strand between the two loops to pull up tight. So I'm pinching on it here so that it will lock and then have a nice running strand between the loops. So you simply keep repeating 
that process across the edge. Oops, didn't pick that up prop, didn't wrap that properly. I'll take it through the loop again to lock it. There we go. And take it right. I was coming from the back to the front, seems to work better for the locking process. Take the needle, or, uh, the thread around the needle, pinch, and it locks from the back to the front through both sets of loops. Uh, pinch your work, thread around, pull up, and the stitch is formed. So you've got locking stitches running along the edge and that will hold the two pieces together. Whoa, didn't do that right. And there we go. There, that'll lock it. And through the loops, thread around, and it locks. I'm going to uh, leave this uh, working strand on the end. I'm not going to um, snip it off because these, uh, the two triangles, of course, are going to be uh, stitched together to other uh, motifs. And, and so I'm going to need um, thread. I'm going to do one extra locking stitch at the corner. Yeah, so I'll need thread for stitching the next ones. So. I will pull it out and of course your piece is going to get steamed and pressed um, after all the stitching is done but there's the joined two joined triangles I'm going to join the next two triangles uh, from the other side of the mask and then I will get back to you I have stitched the um, the square to one of the triangle corner pieces here and I'm going to stitch the second square to the mirror side of the mask. So I've woven in all of the excess bits and of thread and snipped them all off and I'm just going to line up my loops here and then remember you come from the back to the front and your thread comes from the top around the needle and that's how you make your lock stitch. So we'll stitch this side of the square to the uh, two triangles and the corners will be done. So the, the stitching together really doesn't take long. Uh, you know, sometimes people go, ugh, I hate stitching things together. But that's part of the, that process. It is part of the building of the lace, the finished lace piece. So enjoy it, because it's part of the whole lace making process. And who knows, you may find that you may have not liked doing stitching, but all of a sudden, when you're doing lace, it's kind of different and it's quite neat. So I'm almost at the corner here. I will, because I won't need a thread coming up off of this corner, I'm going to be weaving that end in. Looks to me like I made a mistake here with, somehow went past a loop somewhere. That's okay, you can fix it. I just sort of snugged it together. I'm doing two lock stitches and now because I don't need that I'm, uh, and I'm going to stitch through the lock stitch at row three down through the lock stitch at row two and through the entire set of stitching at row one I will snip that off and then the two corner sections of the mask are done. So lay them back on your template and we'll get started on the triangle that goes here. Here. So that's next. The next set is going to be the triangle that's across the bridge of the nose and the two circles that are attached on either side. 
Now, I have woven one uh, set of ends up into the back and snipped them uh, for the, from the triangle, and I will leave one end just hanging there and work with the other end. I'm going to work over um, four. Uh, I'm going to skip the first loop and then work over four loops on uh, attaching the triangle to the first circle. So I have threaded my end into the circle. Now I will be coming out at the first loop here. So I don't want to uh, attach this to the circle, so I'm going to make a lock stitch in it, come up from behind, take the thread over the needle, and oops, the other one is hitchhiking there. Put it down, and there, that's perfect. Now I will work the next four loops from both the triangle and the circle. And then uh, I'll end that by taking this end into, I'm having trouble <laughs> grabbing it, taking this end inside the um, back of the triangle. It could go inside the, the uh, circle, but it doesn't really matter. So there's two and three. And four. I'm going to go down into the knot, the lock knot on the round three, then take it through a lock stitch on round two. And then through all the stitches of round one and bring it out through a lock stitch across round one. Pull the end out and snip that close so that end is woven in. So we have one of the circles attached to the, uh, the triangle. So let's thread the yarn into the thread into the needle. Fold it over the eye, push the loop through. Mm, that eye is a bit small for this. It's kind of messing up the thread a bit. And just like I did on the other side, I'm going to come up through the first loop and I'll do a lock stitch by taking the thread around the needle. And now I fold my, or I place my circle on the triangle, get rid of the ends from the circle, and I pick up one loop from the triangle and one from the, or set of loops from the triangle and one from the circle. Lock stitch into the next set of loops. This is two. Lock stitch and into the third set of loops. Make that lock stitch. The fourth set. And take my, end, my needle through the lock stitch on round three of the triangle, lock stitch on round two, and then into the center. Oop, I just pushed another loop up accidentally. There we go. And so there is there's the lower part of the mask. Now what we want to do is attach the upper sections to that center triangle. So 
I'm going to uh, have to grab a strand of yarn, a thread, and hopefully that's long enough because I don't have any strands coming out exactly where I want them. So I will take it into the center here through to round two and then up to the lock stitch at round three or actually I can even take it through the crossbar and put a lock stitch into round three. Now what I want to do is pick up one, two, three, four, five of the loops on the upper triangle. So I will there I'll pick that up and make a lock stitch. Next set of loops. Lock stitch. That's two. Three. Oops. Didn't do a lock stitch on there. There we go. Three. Four. Five. And now I pick up, just make sure that that's right. Yes, it is. And I'll pick up the other half of the mask and fold it down over the center triangle. So I've got one, two, three, four. Have I done that right? One, two, three, four, five. And I should have one, two, three, four, and five there. I do. Perfect. So pick up this lock stitch, I mean this loop, and go through both and lock stitch. Okay, I didn't lock stitch that. Go back through. There we go. Pull up that lock stitch there. Now, pick up the next one. Go through both the, the front triangle and the back triangle. Loop and lock. Next two sets of loops. Take it around and loop and lock. That's three. And at this moment I'm going, oh, I hope I did this right. <laughs> Four and five. My battery is flashing at me saying that I'm about to run out of, of um, battery space. But there we go. That's correct. So here's the, the mask so far. So we just need to do two more sets of loops of circles here. And two more sets of circles here, and the Tenerife lace mask will be finished. Uh, well, not quite finished. I mean, there, there's more that we'll talk about afterwards. So I need to just race away and deal with my flashing battery before it stops me in mid-sentence. So I'll be back. I've, I've inserted, I've stitched the circle between this circle and the square and I have one circle left to stitch in. I'm going to... Ooh, did I ever leave a long strand here? I guess that was at the end of the ball. I'm going to um, stitch... Here, I'll put lay this on the square and I'm going to skip the corner stitch. Where's my thread? I'm leaving the thread here because I'm going to work some filler 
uh, stitches in uh, later in the finishing process. So I'm skipping the um, corner stitch on the square and going to work four lock stitches uh, through, well one lock stitch through each of four sets of loops. I'm picking up the one loop from the square and one loop from the circle. And here's three and lock and four and lock. Now I'll take a second lock stitch here just I don't always do it, but sometimes I feel like I want to. Um, now I'm not going to cut this strand off. I'm going to leave it because I'm going to want to work some filler stitches in later. Now I'll pull this one out of my needle and just take that one off to the side. Take this thread off to the side. So I want to skip five loops. Remember how I stitched four uh, loops up the the circle and the triangle. Now I'm going to stitch, leave five open loops. One, two, three, four, five. But oh, my thread ends here. Okay, well, I'll need to take some lock stitches to work my way across. So I'm bringing it up through here and locking. So that gives me one, two, three, four. And I want one more open stitch. So I take my thread around my needle. Let's go down closer. And this will allow me, this lets me travel to the other circle that I want to join. I'm going to skip five loops on this circle. One, two, three, four, five. And this is my next loop that I'm going to join. Here, now that I've made the fold, I'm just going to check again. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll pick these guys up. Come through the set of loops on the back of the circle. And wait a minute, I don't think that locked. Let's go through one more time just to make sure it does lock. Okay, and through two sets of loops for the second lock stitch, two sets of loop for the third lock stitch, and take that thread around, and two sets of loops for, whoops, my thread's curling up on me. I should have dampened the thread to make it less obstreperous. Now what I'm going to do is take this down through uh, a lock stitch on round two, because this is quite a short end. It's not going to be terribly helpful, so I just want to stitch it off and take that through the center round. I'll go back into the center round and out. And snip that off. And the Tenerife lace mask is stitched together. Now, I'm going to, for finishing, I'm going to want to do some filling stitch here, 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 and here. But the doorbell is about to ring, so I'm going to turn the camera off and get back to you when my company has come and gone. I hope that you have enjoyed working with me through the project number two, the Tenerife Lace Mask, in this Tenerife Lace Weave Along. And I hope that you'll have a lovely time making lots more wonderful things. There are going to be a whole lot more projects to follow in this Weave Along. In order to uh, completely finish the mask, I've woven in all my ends. And I'm going to be hanging this uh, mask on the wall. So I have sewn, you know, those plastic rings on just so I can hang it up. If you want, you can line the, uh, your mask with lace or, I mean, not with lace, with felt or some other fabric. 
you can put a wire, stitch a wire in along the top if you're going to wear it. You can applique it to anything you can think of. Just the ima your imagination is the only limit here. I wish you the greatest of joy in your lace making and do come back for more projects. And remember on the Toddy Talks craft link that I'm going to be here. I'll, um, I'll move this up so I can post the link down here. There is a complete list of all the um, all of the links to that will explain all of the different uh, that are videos showing all the different techniques and all the different projects in the Tenerife lace weave along. The um, the template for the mask is on my blog at toddytalkscrafts.com so you'll find that there. Happy lace making, happy weaving, go gently and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.